who is going to suffer the most in the world in a time of death? When the, when the soul exits the body. Those first few minutes, who has, is going to have a horror, major disappointment and heartbreaking? Who? You know who? The rich people. The more rich they are, the more they'll hit their heart. Yo! Oh my God, I just left a hundred million dollars. I'm in the middle of deals. People didn't pay me yet. Couldn't you take me on the fifth of the month after my tenant paid the rent? That's what he would think. I didn't finish to marry my daughter. I'm, I did not finish the, the joint venture. The tools that the lawyers are signing. He's gonna be always busy with something big. A poor guy, basically homeless, he comes out, he flies. I got rid of the mortgage, got rid of the problems, got rid of the complaints of the children. Wow, it's a relief for him. The rich one, oh my God, he just bought a new Bentley. They didn't even get to drive it. Up, oh, the soul came out. The Bentley stays over there in the driveway. It's trying to open the door, but the soul cannot open the door. Such a heartbreaking news. Just got a Bentley and an hour later left the world. Isn't it heartbreaking? But that's only in the first 10, 20 minutes. Then when we enter the court of heaven, then the real disaster will begin. Not money and not joint venture and none of these stuyot, the Bentley. That's when they will announce your name. You realize, wow, what's your name? You forget your name from fear. But the panic killed you. You think you can see? The Gemara say even his name he won't be able to remember. That's why in the, in the end of Tfilat Shmona Esre, there is a verse that start with the first letter of your name and finish with the last letter of your name. It's gula to say it, that when the trial will begin, at least you will be able to answer your name. That's how scary the judgment is. And one hour in hell is worse than 70 years of torture that Eov had in this life. All his children died. Sick, lost all his money, lost his friends, all kinds of things that happened to him. 70 years of hell in this world cannot be equal to one year in hell in the next world. And Mechalelei Shabbat are going to the seventh section in hell and do not come out of there for eternity. That's what's written in Rashid Chochmah, Masechet Gehenom. Masechet Gehenom. המדור השביעי נקרא תחתית הארץ, שם נידונים אותם גסי רוח שחטאו והחטיאו אחרים ופשעו באדונם and three scenes are going there wasting seed on purpose מחלל שבת אין חילול השם three scenes אינם יוצאים משם לעולם Ay, ay, ay. And people think Shabbat is a joke. Ay, ay, don't be fanatic. It's the 21st century. That's why Hashem gave us cars. We as a people can't fix everything overnight. But we can't each fix ourselves. If you're not keeping Shabbat, start keeping Shabbat. If you're not being honest, start being honest. If you're not eating kosher, start being, eating kosher. And so on and so forth. Whatever your Torah says, you start doing. You fix you. And guess what happens? If we start changing our nature as individuals, we'll start changing nature of our own people as a community. And when our community changes its nature and starts acting like Am Yisrael, guess what? Nature changes. The Goim will change and even the prophecies can change. Not change that Hashem is simply going to cancel the Torah But rather, He doesn't have to fulfill all of the bad ones. It could be less bad. Or at the very least, 
not bad for the ones that are doing good. And that's what Rabbi Eliezer ben Hokanus was trying to tell us. Maybe you're not going to get your entire city to do tshuva. Maybe you're not going to get your entire country to do tshuva. Maybe you're not going to get your entire community to do tshuva. But you can get your household to do tshuva. You can get you to do tshuva. And doing tshuva is what? Learning Torah and helping people. Overwhelming kindness, helping other people get closer to Hashem. You do those things, guess what? You're changing your nature, HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself will change the nature around you. No matter what happens, what type of birth pangs and pregnancy pangs and all types of pangs happen at the time of Mashiach, it will not affect you. Why? You change your nature, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will change the nature around you. Bezat Hashem, this will be enough motivation for each one of us to change our own nature, to become closer and closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and help HaKadosh Baruch Hu bring the Mashiach in a better way by having more of us act like we're supposed to, act like Am Yisrael and Bezat Hashem. Give him nachat once and for all. Baruch Adonai Amen v'amen.